Hey guys, real quick video here to show you something I discovered while I was working on my photo backdrops for my model railroad. And that's how to remove a trackside sign or something similar that is in an image and you don't want it to be there. So I'm using Corel Draw X7. It's uh, just a graphic design program, photo editor, super simple to use. I really like it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to import our image that we're using. So I've just got a JPEG, I've brought it in here into Corel Draw, and we're going to go ahead and click on that, and then we're going to go to Edit Bitmap, and that'll open up uh, Corel Photo Paint. Okay, so we've got our image here in Corel Photo Paint, and what we're going to do is go over here to the Clone tool, and we're going to pick a brush that kind of works for the shape that we're using. I like to use these diamond shape brushes here, just because that's kind of the shape of a tree. So make that a little bit bigger, let's try 125. Yeah, that'll probably work. Okay, so now we need to select somewhere that on the image that we're going to use to cover this sign up. So something of the same height. This tree over here on the other side, almost the same height there. So this would probably work good. So I'm going to select the top of the tree here. And you can see it's blinking, telling me that's where, I've, where I'm going to be cloning from. We'll slide over here. And we're going to just start at the top of the sign and work our way down. So it's dragging, it's basically just copying the image from the other side and bringing it over here now. So we'll just work our way down. And be careful when you get to the edges here. Cover up that little bush behind there. Do a little more. We'll even get the bottom of the sign here like this because you can see we're down into the grass now. There, just like that. What was that? 30 seconds or so. We've got we've removed that whistle post right from the image. So if we just go undo, you can see what we've done here. And just like that, it's that easy. Typically it works best if you use an image from the other side. So if we zoom out here, look at the image as a whole, you can see it's pretty hard to tell. And we could have done a little bit better job down here, so that's something else we can do. So we can uh Remove the clone tool from there and then reopen it. And what we could do is grab this little piece of the tree over here. And we could probably feather that out a little bit. That's pretty good. So, I mean, you can get as finicky as you want, but uh, I'd say that's pretty good. So if I was going to go ahead and use this bluff of trees here now, there's no longer a whistle post in there. And if we go back a couple steps, you can see what we've done. So that's just a super easy way to get rid of stuff in your image. This is probably the easiest thing to do because it's bush. I found uh, trees and forest are really easy to blend out because they're so random. And when you're looking at the forest tree line overall, you're not really nitpicking small details. But uh, yeah, it's a super easy way to get rid of the trackside sign or anything from an image that you don't want to be there. Hopefully you found this video helpful. As always, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.